Hi everyone, this is Bill from Nintendo's Treehouse. I'm back again to deliver direct to you more updates from Mr. Iwata's recent Nintendo Direct, in which he covered a number of details about Wii U. In the last video, we covered the Wada Wada Plaza that serves as the Wii U system's main screen, and Wii U Chat, the free video service that will be available as part of a system update. Wii U has many great new features, from Miiverse to Nintendo TV to video chat and more, but to take advantage of all of these features, you must first create an account. Everyone who will be playing on Wii U will want their own personal account. We call these users. You can have up to 12 unique users on a single Wii U system, and each user will be represented by a different Mii character. The Wii U built-in applications and Wii U games can save data and settings specific to each individual user. Bookmarks on the internet browser can be managed by each user, and play history will be recorded per user as well. Once you've set up your user accounts, you'll choose your own Mi each time you start up the Wii U system. To use network services on the Wii U, such as Nintendo eShop, Miiverse, Nintendo TV, and video chat functions, you must have a Nintendo Network ID. To register your Nintendo Network ID, you will need to enter a password, your birth date, gender, location, and an email address. The Nintendo Network ID you create will be used when registering other Wii U users as your friends on your system, similar to the friend codes we previously used. But that won't be the only way to do that. Also, your Nintendo eShop software purchases will be managed under your Nintendo Network ID, but the software and additional download content you purchase at Nintendo eShop can be shared with all other users on your Wii U system. Also, you will be able to link your Nintendo Network ID to the network services offered by other software publishers and developers if you so choose, allowing you to use their services through your Nintendo Network ID. Now this Nintendo Network ID will also be something you will be able to use on other hardware Nintendo might release in the future. And we plan to make your Nintendo Network ID usable across other devices besides Nintendo's own game systems. Starting next year, you should be able to access services such as Nintendo eShop and Miiverse via your PC and smartphones using your Nintendo Network ID. Now, your Nintendo Network ID and Wii U network services like Miiverse, Nintendo eShop, Nintendo TV, and Wii U Chat come at no additional charge and no additional monthly fees, but they do require an internet connection. To fully enjoy everything Wii U has to offer, you will want to connect it to the internet the moment you get home. When you do, a system update will occur, giving you access to all of these services and features. Now we're working to make this update as simple, seamless, and as quick as we possibly can, but as Mr. Awada noted, it may take some time depending on your network speed and traffic volume. Once you've connected to the network and set up your account, those of you who are upgrading from Wii will be able to transfer your virtual console and WiiWare titles and your save data to your new Wii U system although you may need to re-download titles you have stored on an SD card. To do this data transfer, you will need to have both systems handy and connected to the internet to do so. There will be more information on the process, including a step-by-step -step video on how to do it, available on our homepage in a few days. So please hang on to your Wii system until you understand the process and have completed the transfer. Okay, let's talk about the Wii U hardware features now. The new Wii U console offers a seamless connection between your TV, the internet, and this new gaming console using a second screen independent of the TV, the Wii U GamePad's touchscreen. Mr. Iwata and the team in Japan created a series of videos that take place in a gamer's apartment in Tokyo and illustrate the different ways Wii U might fit into or change the way that you game. It's not new information. It mostly covers content we've discussed before. But hopefully, these videos give you a better picture of how it all works together. The first we'll show is Miiverse. What you'll see is pretty self-explanatory. So even though you may not be able to read the Japanese text you'll see at certain points in the video, you should be able to see what we're getting at.
This scene shows the Miiverse application. This is the Wii U community, a place where gamers from all over can discuss, share, and learn more about the video games they love. In this example, the player is struggling to complete a new challenge in New Super Mario Bros. U and turns to the community for help. The key here is how integrated Miiverse is into the gaming experience and how seamlessly we can switch between gameplay and interacting with the community. Now, your games and your gaming friends all exist in the same place. His friends and other community members empathize with him not only through text, but also with sketches, game screens, and me facial expressions based on your mood or post. In addition to posting your comments and responding to others' posts, Miiverse has features that encourage connection between players, such as supporting others' posts by clicking yeah, following players who posted comments you can relate to, or even requesting to be friends with that player. Posts by your friends and players you're following will be displayed as others' activities, and you can exchange direct messages with others you registered as friends letting you gradually build closer relationships with other players. Also, as you can see in the video, Miiverse can prevent spoiler content from being displayed immediately. People who are posting the content can mark their posts as spoilers, and there is also an automated feature which will mark specific posts as spoiler content if enough players flag it as being so. It's minimizing the chance for players who don't want to see spoilers uh, from actually having to view them. Miiverse is integrated into the Wii U at the system level, so every Wii U game is compatible with Miiverse, and players can bring up Miiverse without ending the game by touching the home button. In addition, developers can develop games which will utilize the Miiverse communication functionality within the game itself. For example, in New Super Mario Bros. U, if you fail to complete a course, the Mii character and comments of other players who failed at the same point will be displayed here. These comments are posted after a player failed at the same spot repeatedly and after the game asked him if he wanted to share that feeling with other players. So the comment at that spot will be something the player posted describing his feelings at that moment. Also, when you clear a really difficult course, or if you do something awesome, you can post other comments. Other players' comments can be viewed in-game, such as on the world map, and by connecting to Miiverse, even when you are playing on your own, you can still feel that you're connected to other players. Sometimes, you might get a unique request, such as, why don't you express your feelings in rhyme? You might be able to see some unique comments from others in these types of cases. Also, in Nintendo Land, after you play each attraction, 
comments from other players who played the same attraction will be displayed. And then you yourself can post comments in the same screen to express how you feel after playing this attraction as well. Oh, look at that. It's a sketch for Mr. Miyamoto. He's trying to promote his game here. There's also a place called Nintendo Land Plaza, which is the place where Nintendo Land players from all over the world will get together. You can post a variety of comments directly from this plaza as well. Displaying other players' Mii characters in this Nintendo Plaza is also made possible by connecting to Miiverse. What you see here was all prepared by the development team just for this video. But after Nintendo Land is released, people from different countries will be communicating with each other in various languages in this lively place. Even if you don't know any other language, hand-drawn messages serve as a universal language to communicate with others. One of the other features Mr. Iwata talked about was the web browser, and he showed how seamless the transition is between playing games and browsing the internet. For example, you can pause your gameplay by pressing the home button on the gamepad, search for something in the browser, and then re-enter the game right where you left off. It's also extremely easy to transition your gameplay from the TV to the gamepad. The player in this video actually does it twice, once when he's moving to the kitchen and wants to keep playing, and again when he realizes that a soccer match he wants to watch has just started. Hopefully, that gives you a clearer picture of how Wii U and all of its connected features work together. Of course, we've got more information to share about Wii U, so stay tuned. And be sure to keep an eye out for me on Miiverse.